for you because I ain't never knew nothing about you to the day, sister. And these folks telling me, I, girl, you hell, girl, you showing that girl. My power to you, I can't. I most definitely, I most definitely am, but I'm always going to have people that don't like what I do, don't like what I say, don't like how I live my life. I'm not ashamed to... I'm not ashamed to do anything like as far as speak on my life or live my life publicly. Right. I, I'm not ashamed. Everybody else, they can hide who they are. If I'm a freak and I like freaky shit, then that's that's what I do. That's what I'm into. That's it. They're going to talk whether I do good or whether I do bad. Right. Well, I'm just going to be quiet because I don't want to say the wrong thing to nobody. Because I will not want you to be offended with me or not like me or nothing. So I'm just let you do you because that's all we can do. If, if 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 it's something that you feel like you you got to say to me you and you feel like it'll be offensive, you could DM it to me. You can um, call me on Instagram and tell me exactly how you feel. Maybe I could understand and see your point of view and maybe you could better understand mine. But regardless at the end of the day I've come a long way you have come a long way but you know and when you be coming a long way listen when you come a long way and you go through stuff like the stuff you done been through you have to start breaking those cycles sister and I have no and no is, no you don't break cycles by going to get on the internet and having sex because they, they, this was a minute ago I understand, but just hear me right. So okay. the cycle started a long time ago when your mama had sex with your baby dad and you had to experience that. That's some hurtful shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can only imagine like your pain and your suffering that you went through, like the fucking bubbles in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. me just seeing a nigga that I fuck with and I love, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with somebody else made me, I, could, I just start throwing up, you know? So my mom doing some shit like that with me, to me would be a whole nother level. But it's time for you to start just breaking those generational curses because that's where it mm -hmm. comes from. Like, the freak elite come from your mama. You already know that. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. You said that because by your mama being already married and then she still had sex with your baby daddy, why the fuck would she do that? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when I say you have to start breaking generational curses, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to break that off of you. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Ain't nothing wrong with you. You're a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? You got your kids. God bless you with your five children. And in due time, you'll have your daughter back. But you have to break those curses off of you. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You got to start breaking it off. Like coming on live and having sex and stuff. You know, that that's not really of God. At first, you said it was with your husband. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then you also said you don't have sex with your boyfriends on that too. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff that God ain't pleasing with us, okay? We all rocking right. Up. And I can't say you wrong, and I can't say you right. But I know to other young girls that's looking up to you, we supposed to be role models for them. Mm -hmm. And for me being who I am, I think like a woman, I think that we are sacred. I think that we go through a lot of emotions. But I also think it's levels to us. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about nobody who's freaky, freaky. You freaky, freaky, that's your business. I'm not <laughs> freaky, freaky. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boring right. fuck. I'm fucking one person at a time. I'm not fucking him, them, and them. I'm fucking me one person at a time. And I'm not fucking him with nobody but me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's me. Um, I can be jealous, and it's not good. But I don't like to know that nobody's looking at my man. It's fucked mm -hmm. up, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want you to know what he fucking me like. It's not your business. Because if you know he fucking me like, you might want to go get some of my dick. And you can't have it because it's for me. So... Mm -hmm. My thought process is different from other people, but I can't, I just, I just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm happy that you don't mind doing it, but I've been a stripper before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool. And it was a free, it was a bit, it was damn now almost the best time of my life, but it was so the best time that I knew it wasn't right. I had to get out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't for me because it's something that when you have God, he convicts you. Mm-hmm. And in certain things, in certain places, in certain things, you just can't do no more when he starts convicting you. Exactly. So when the spirit, you know what I'm saying? When the spirit, wait a minute. I don't wait know who minute. said it's evil. But when the spirit, you know what I'm saying, come over me, and I, 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 I don't know. I just, from a sister to another sister, I, I would just say, you know, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Like it ain't nobody business, and all money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? There's other right. ways you can get money because there's other ways you can get money. And that's what I've been doing. I stopped. Like I've, I've definitely, like I told you earlier, I've become more spiritually in tune. Um, I stopped all of that on all sites, porn sites, social media, whatever. Like I, I stopped that. And exactly what you said is is exactly what I've been doing. Right. I've been trying to break these curses. I had to understand what what was making me do these things. Right. And I don't put no excuses on anything that I've done. I don't put any else anyone else's trauma on things that I've done, but I had to understand for me. Right. That's what will help me break these curses and that's what I'm continuously doing. Yes, but it's bigger than that. So God is trying to show you a lot of stuff like he already done tried to show you like with your baby daddy. And how he died and got up out of here, that was one. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, HIV ain't no hoe. That shit rose accordingly. You feel me? And it was too and close to home. It was closer than close from home. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that man was able to play with you, your mama, and whoever else he was able to play with. You know what I'm saying? That shit is deep. That shit is big. Mm hmm And I don't know what about you to my lie today, but... I I'm always you. on your live. I, you... be, I pray for you. I ain't got no heaven to hell to put you in, but... If I was you, I think there's other ways that you can get that money. You know what I'm saying? Especially being that the age that you are. You know what I'm saying? Like you older, mm -hmm. you know better. You got kids that's looking up to you and certain things just don't. It ain't that no more. Right. You know, it, it's not that. It's not right. that. It's not that. It's not that. And we got to be having jazz a bell. Shit, I wanted to fuck last night. I was drunk. I ain't had nobody fuck me. It's okay. Stop saying you was drunk because they like. I mean, I was a little tipsy, you know what I'm saying? I was tipsy, but I could have had me, you know. They like cool. using and, that. But at the end of the day, I'm not finna get out here and solicit myself. I'm gonna take a cold shower. I'm gonna come in and turn the, the church music on or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have a good day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just what it's gonna be. So, right. I'm sister to another sister. I don't have no heaven to hell to put you in, but I pray that you get over that, that spirit where you feel like you want other people to come in your, you know. And see your realm and watch what you got going on. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right. Yeah. I appreciate that. And I especially if it's not making you billions and billions and millions of dollars. <laughs> and then, <laughs> even then, you know what I'm saying? Money is the root of all evil for real. Right. So it just yes, ain't because working. it was more problems that was coming with the money, and I just didn't want it no more. Yeah, it, it yeah. was too much. It was, and I just say like you know, for your little girl, for her. You know, I don't know how many little girls you got, but break the break the chain. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then that day she's still your daughter. And if you look into time, you would never want to see your daughter on no internet doing no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You just wouldn't. You feel me? Right. If you're a real mama and you love your daughter, you wouldn't want to see your daughter on the internet. You seeing her getting fucked. Would you? No. Would you be okay if you were to turn on the live one day and your little girl getting fucked and you seeing her getting tooted up? Stop saying it like that. No, I'm saying, would you like it? <laughs> no, would you, I wouldn't. Would you like appreciate it? it? Of course, I wouldn't appreciate it. But I would do as as a mother that loved her child. I would do whatever it is to get my daughter out of that situation. To Correct. put my daughter in a better in a better situation. Correct. Me, I have to find my way by myself. Along, like I have to do it by myself, just me and God. I don't have that support system that. It's gonna no, come, but it ain't even about the support system. It's like we know we got them. This shit don't feel right. Shekinah, you can't say that. So you <laughs> mean to tell me? Th just think about it. You don't gotta explain. But you haven't done things. You heard me? I'm sorry. Somebody was calling me. What you say? I said, you don't think, you you don't got to explain, but just put you your a scenario so she want to go there. No, go there. no, no, no. No, no stop. I'm going to go there for you. I'm going to go there for you. Wait, stop. Uh -oh. I'm going to go there with you, okay? So when I was a young girl, you know what I'm saying? One time I had done tricked out with a man, right? Mm -hmm. And I done told people on my live this before. And I was tricking out with this man. And, you know, he got me a little money or whatever. But in the whole time of me tricking out with him when I was younger, I learned my lesson because... He felt so nasty on me. Mm -hmm. Like, what I was doing, I knew I wasn't right. And what right. was going on wasn't right. right. So the spirit convicted me. And I said, mm -hmm. God, I don't never want to be in this situation. I don't never want nobody sweating on me. And I don't like them. And they got to be on top of me. And the spirit convicted me. 
the spirit could be to me. Right. So I just kept it couple steady. And I don't do that. I don't trick off. I don't want to do it. Okay. Give you another scenario. When I was a dancer, and I'm not talking about nobody in their dancers, but God deals with us on his timing. Now exactly. we want to be on timing. So when I was a stripper, I can remember what made me stop stripping. It was so crazy. I knew that feeling in that strip club went right. It was a fun feeling. It was like damn dibbling, dibbling, dabbling in the wrong, in the wrong, in the wrong world. But I was over there in that world, and I don't have nothing to say about nobody who do that. That's on them. It was a fun time in my life. Like I tell you, I had a good time in that eight month trial. Okay, I was dancing mm -hmm. at work, and um, a man came in my job. I was a daytime stripper. Okay, um, mm -hmm. a man came in my job, and he said to me. He said, what's your name? I told him my stripper name. My stripper name was Sky. Amen. He mm. said, um, <laughs> so what you, now nah, what's your real name? He kept asking me for my real name. So then I told him, why you keep asking? My name's Shekana. He said, you know what Shekana mean? I said, of course I know what Shekana mean. It's my name. Why would I know what my name mean? Right. That man took me standing right there. Yeah, I couldn't dance. I couldn't dance, but I still knew how to get naked and get me a couple dollars. Amen. Right. right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the man, he touched me on my back. He said, look around, young lady, look around. And I looked around, okay? And everywhere I looked, it was somebody doing some freaky shit that was totally different. Mm -hmm. I can remember going to get my stuff and leaving work that day. And I returned to work on my birthday. Mm -hmm. I returned to work on my birthday to have a birthday set. I had the birthday set. I didn't even take out my clothes. That day at the birthday set, okay? But everybody, I felt like everybody in the city was there because I knew the city. I bought the city out, as they say. Mm -hmm. I had my birthday set. Maybe, you know, after I left out that club that night, I left my shoes in the locker. I left my clothes in the locker. I never fucking went back in that motherfucker. You understand me? Never went back even mm -hmm. for a day. I wouldn't start working for a girl for $300 a goddamn week. Mm -hmm. Minimum motherfucking wage. And they had to do a lot, Okay. But it ended up paying off because even though I was working for three hundred dollars a week, I was able to learn a craft. See, right, right. And I was able to go through the struggle. You see, right. And I did it. I did it. Right, but it didn't happen overnight. And Baby, I, it didn't I'm happen overnight. But it's just the lessons and stuff that we learned. I'm not. Te I'm telling you about Shakana when she was 21, 20 years old, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you about Shakana who she is today because Shakana who she is today ain't doing none of that shit because Shakana know how to get out here. And make her some money the right way. I don't have to lay on my back. Fuck nobody for no money. Right. I got, you know, thank God, you know. Mm -hmm. I got a craft and, and, I, and I work it and I know how to do what I got to do. I don't want to lay on my back for money. Right. I'm not a hoe. Right. I don't want to be no hoe. But that's me. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with the people who do want to be a hoe or whatever. But I just know when you're a child of God, that he will... He will take you out of places and he will make you feel different. It's certain stuff I can't do that I used to do no more. Exactly. It's certain people that I used to hang with that I don't hang with and do the things that people do. I'm just giving you understanding. And when you got God on your ass and when he started whipping you, you will change your way. Absolutely. It don't matter about who you talking to and what you got going on. He beat your ass and you will stand up and say, hey, I ain't doing this shit right here no more. Right. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> right. That is so true. That is so true. And it's on God's timing. And I definitely appreciate hearing that. Um, I appreciate you not judging me. I appreciate. Yeah, um, I can never judge you, baby, because I done been through some things myself. But I'm just telling you, in life, we have to grow. And right. And I'm a beautiful grown. woman. You're a beautiful woman. And, and you Thank got you. kids. And it's, up, it's something else he got for you in store. I just say break the generational curse that your daughter ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? Your daughter yeah. ain't got to live that life because of what your mama lived and what she passed on to you. You got to break it. Right. That's all I'm saying. I ain't here to judge nobody, but we had a generation of curses that I already be on there. Right, exactly. That's already put on us at birth. So but they had nothing to do with you. They go all the way back beyond you. So Right. You, just, you know, you just got to start breaking them out. Well, I'm working on it. So I'm wrong with it. You keep it. on working on it, girl. You be a testimony for these folks and let them see how you got through it and what he did. And then one day you'll be able to say, hey, I used to be on Instagram having sex with my boyfriend, whatever, <laughs> whatever. But today I am a multi-millionaire. Amen. And it's all through the help of God. All he wants you to do is give him his grace. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to forever do that. I'm That's gonna right. I'm going to forever do that. 
And I appreciate that. That made me feel a whole lot better. And That's right. um, thank everybody for the positivity that y'all spoke and, you know, for understanding and not judging. That's what we need. And for the haters, I appreciate that. That's y'all, right. th my greater is coming. And I want y'all to keep hating when y'all see this greatness. Your greatest is already here, girl. Yes, I just got to live in it. You just got to walk in it. We all got to walk <laughs> in it. We all go through trial and tribulation every day. We yeah. all fall short every day. Ain't nobody better than the next. And it's just what it is. I ain't here to put you on. I can't put you in heaven or hell. I can't tell you what wrong or right. Right. I can just tell you with certain things that you do. And when he getting closer to you, he whoops your ass. And when God whoop your ass. <laughs> you can't come back from that. Mm -mm. that that's a lesson learned. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, thank you, Shekinah. And I appreciate that. All right, my sister. I love you, girl. I love you, too. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, y'all down with me? Have we had a good conversation on live? I think I might be about to get off the hill.